welcoming the Foreign Minister of Kuwait, my dear friend and brother. I want to share with you that we've had an excellent uh, meeting today. We discussed a host of issues, bilateral issues, regional issues, uh, economic uh, cooperation, and the way forward. I'm happy to share with you that Pakistan and Kuwait have not only agreed to upgrade our bilateral relations to a different level, we've also agreed on a roadmap for the future. We have set ourselves targets and we have set ourselves a vision of engagement for the future. I'm happy to share with you that we were able to, we were able to um, make headway in the, uh, the visa issue that was lingering on for years, and the foreign minister has played a very uh, important role in uh, recognizing uh, uh, our desire and our need. I'm also happy to share with you that they have appreciated Pakistan's contribution uh, in challenging COVID-19 times when they required um, uh, medical technicians for Kuwait. Pakistan was forthcoming. And looking at the professionalism provided by our doctors and nursing staff, they have expressed an interest of uh, inviting more doctors and nurses and technicians to Kuwait. Uh, that is, again, a very welcome development. We've agreed to uh, increase our bilateral trade. We've looked at areas where uh, investments can be promoted uh, in Kuwait and in Pakistan. Uh, we've looked at uh, developing linkages between Gawadar and uh, uh, Mubarak al-Kabir uh, port in uh, Kuwait, uh, and uh, many other areas, multilateral uh, cooperation. Uh, we've agreed to support each other in so many areas. And I wanted to um, thank the Foreign Minister that he accepted my invitation when we met in Niamey. Uh, at the, on the sidelines of the uh, CFM. He promised to come to Pakistan, and in these challenging COVID times, he is here. He, he delivered on his promise. And not just delivered on his promise, he, I have seen in him such warmth, affection for Pakistan, and a willingness to move ahead. Uh, uh, in our bilateral relations. I want to acknowledge and appreciate the role played by His Excellency the Foreign Minister and the Kuwaiti leadership in diffusing tensions within the GCC. And we've had a discussion over dinner on how things have moved uh, ahead. Uh, he was in Riyadh uh, a day before and he shared uh, the developments uh, that, have, uh, that are evolving. And inshallah, we hope with uh, the leadership uh, and the vision provided by them, we can uh, look for, inshallah, a closure uh, in Yemen. Uh, that Pakistan feels, and the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, has always said, an unnecessary war. Uh, we will do our best to bring the Ummah together. So thank you, Foreign Minister. Thank you for coming. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <clears throat> My brother, Makhdoum Shah Mahmoud al-Qurayshi, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for coming this late at night and very abruptly, as my brother Mahmoud has uh, said. I'm uh, here on the invitation of uh, my brother, the Foreign Minister of Pakistan, and under the instructions of the leadership of Kuwait to enhance and promote even further all fields of cooperation between the state of Kuwait and Pakistan. The 
<clears throat> the historical ties that Kuwait has with Pakistan now is above 58 years. And we recall the position of Pakistan, especially in our darkest time. Pakistan was solid uh, in a stance against uh, the Iraqi occupation of Kuwait back in 1990 and stood with us shoulder to shoulder uh, until the liberation of Kuwait, but also in maintaining and implementing United Nations Security Council re resolution uh, in uh, maintaining the security, stability, and sovereignty of Kuwait. And after that, uh, now, as we all are uh, facing this pandemic, we truly do think that no one uh, is immune until all of us uh, are immune. And that's why Pakistan, again, uh, with the White Army of Pakistan in the same trench with their Kuwaiti brethren in combating this disease, which is very much appreciated by all uh, Kuwaitis. Uh, the, uh, today in the morning, I had uh, the honor to meet uh, the Prime Minister uh, of Pakistan, His Excellency Imran Khan, where I delivered a, a letter, a message from His Highness, the Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid. The letter uh, is o only solidifies the beautiful story that exists between Kuwait and Pakistan and laid forward uh, the, uh, the orientation of our work uh, for, the, uh, <clears throat> for the future. Uh, we would like for our relationship to be more institutionalized, and uh, this was the core of our meeting, and to have a clear indicator of the level of cooperation in all fields and sectors and how we can move it and promote it even uh, further. Uh, the Pakistani community in Kuwait is an integral part of the development of Kuwait and contributor in our economy, and we are proud of this matter. The issue of visa is being handled seriously, and members of the delegations are, uh, have met uh, today to, uh, <coughs> to uh, discuss the mechanism uh, for this uh, matter. We have uh, discussed also uh, some of the regional and international challenges uh, that we are facing. We truly do, support, uh, do thank and commend the uh, uh, position of Pakistan during the GCC rift in maintaining neutrality and support of the late His Highness Sheikh Sabah mediation effort and Kuwait mediation effort. And uh, thank God now that this uh, issue has been uh, solved. Uh, we thank pa Pakistan for, for, for their position in this regard. And also we have discussed uh, means and ways to implement and, and, and strengthen our cooperation in regional <coughs> and international organizations, among them OIC and also United uh, Nations. I, again, I truly do thank my brother uh, Mahmoud for all of the hospit hospitality that I have received. Uh, with my delegation, and we are looking forward for a, beaut for a beautiful future ahead. Thank you, sir. The Honorable Foreign Minister has agreed to take a few questions. So please introduce your channel and also indicate who your question is addressed to. Gina. Uh, thank you. My name is Namra. I am from Pakistan Television. Sir, my question is to the Foreign Minister of Kuwait. Uh, Pakistan has recently sent some medical professionals to Kuwait. How is your experience with that, and do you intend to cooperate more with Pakistan in this area? Thank you. <clears throat> pa Pakistan not only has sent this time, but also during the direst moments last year, when all of the countries around the world were perturbed by this new pandemic and were just trying to navigate in a very dark and treacherous uh, waters. Uh, they have sent a medical team 
uh, to help us in combating this disease and it's still uh, going on. The, uh, uh, our impression, uh, and I hear I want to be more objective, is the, uh, it's not us, but all of the caretaker receivers uh, have expressed their great admiration for the high level skills, professionalism, empathy and sympathy that uh, the Pakistani uh, medical team uh, have uh, done in, uh, in Kuwait. And we are even looking for future uh, cooperation uh, in this field. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, Saima Shabir from Arab News. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Thank you very much for the, your visit. So, uh, my question is uh, about the visas. Uh, as you said, that the issue has been resolved and sorted out. And secondly, sir, uh, uh, Mr. Qureshi, you have told that uh, a roadmap, proper roadmap, has been discussed uh, between the two uh, foreign ministers. Uh, kindly, if you can, sir, give a little detail about that roadmap and uh, about the trade between two countries, how to enhance that. Thank you so much. You want to go? <coughs> well, <coughs> we discussed this morning the level of bilateral trade uh, uh, between Kuwait and Pakistan. Our bilateral trade is slightly over a billion dollars, but it is nowhere near its potential. We feel by better institutional arrangements and more engagement, it can go up many fold. Uh, we also see uh, good prospects for investments and I shared with the foreign minister the friendly uh, uh, regime that we have in place, the high rate of returns uh, people are making who have invested in Pakistan, the ease of doing business and how Pakistan's ranking has gone up and why Pakistan should be uh, an attractive destination for Kuwaiti investment. Uh, I also shared with him uh, the opportunities that special economic zones uh, are offering, the incentives that are being offered, uh, the Gawadar zone and other you know, uh, uh, zones that we are coming up under CPEC. Uh, I also discussed that, the connectivity that it will promote. We have now a clear uh, roadmap, uh, and we can share that with you. It's, it, it's, it's not a classified document. We can share it with the media, what we've agreed upon how to move forward in different areas, uh, in uh, promotion of cultural ties, people-to-people uh, -people linkages, uh, in enhancing our cooperation in the field of education. Uh, we feel that we can contribute uh, a lot, uh, and uh, I'm happy to say, share with you that uh, the trajectory of our military cooperation uh, is very positive, and uh, I see uh, uh, further uh, engagement in that as a fair also. <clears throat> yeah. yeah th th well, th thank you so much. And uh, I, I would only reiter reiterate what my dear brother, the foreign minister of Pakistan, uh, mentioned. There are lots of potential uh, in cooperation that still untapped or untapped successfully. So this is what we are concentrating on. We think also that even the, the, the pandemic and COVID is a crisis, but it's also uh, a means of an, an opportunities uh, for, for all of us. Uh, enhancing, as I said, the medical institutions, sharing expertise in this regard, uh, have learning from this such, such uh, a uh, dire experience to have a more immune, uh, potentially, eventually, if uh, such a, a pandemic reoccurs in the, in the future is, uh, is important for both uh, countries. Um, as a, and also, uh, when we, we're mentioning uh, food security, we think that uh, one of the repercussions of this pandemic, uh, not only for Kuwait and uh, for Pakistan, but the whole world is uh, food security. So complementarity 
policy in this matter is very uh, important and crucial, and we have discussed uh, this matter. Education, but also IT uh, integration is very uh, important, and those, uh, those three sectors are some of the sectors that uh, we would enhance our cooperation in, in this matter. Regarding the visa issue, uh, the relationship between Kuwait and Pakistan is a historical and strong uh, relationship. And uh, rest assured, we don't want it to be uh, singled out only by this matter, and that's why we have had the instruction of my leadership to handle this matter seriously, and now there is a mechanism uh, for uh, uh, this uh, issue to be solved uh, once and for all. We, the skilled labor force of uh, Pakistan, uh, are contributing in our development, as I have said, and we are proud uh, of all of them. Uh, th thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Anas Malik from the correspondent. I have uh, my questions are for the visiting dignitary. So, two part questions. Firstly, uh, does Kuwait have any plans of enhancing its investment within the country, within Pakistan? And if so, what are those areas of interest? That is number one. Number two, you mentioned about the rift between GCC. There's a rift that is uh, regionally there as well between the two neighbors. You're coming from India. What, would Kuwait want to play its role to mediate a solution? or a peace between Pakistan and India because Kashmir has been that sticking point. Would Kuwait want to mediate because you're coming directly from India to Pakistan? So my question is on that. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, regarding enhancing uh, investment, we think that now, the, uh, especially the legislations in Pakistan are very encouraging for foreign investment, Kuwait and, and others. We have a very vivid uh, private sector in Kuwait, and they, are, they have also an adventurous uh, soul. Pakistan is very close to us. It only needs some avenues uh, to further uh, do, put more awareness and exploration in this matter. Likewise, in Kuwait, we have uh, lots of regulation that would uh, enhance and secure and encourage foreign investment in Kuwait. So it's a win-win situation, and we welcome the same thing, the, the private sector and investors of Pakistanis uh, in Kuwait. <clears throat> Regarding uh, the issue between India and Pakistan, Kuwait's position is clear. It goes along with United Nations Security Council resolutions and all of the resolutions of OIC, we, we don't want at all any uh, close friends, neighboring countries to enter into tension. We would want uh, every, all of the issues to be solved amicably and whatever Kuwait uh, can do on this behalf, Kuwait will not hesitate. Thank you very much, sir. This is Naveed Siddiqui from Dawn News. Uh, my question from both the foreign ministers. Uh, Kuwait uh, had been a long time uh, white oil product supplier to Pakistan, and they had a, an ambitious plan to build a white oil uh, product refinery in Pakistan, number one. Second part of my question uh, regarding the, the, the there are uh, some uh, pro problem being faced by the Pakistani main power, power in Kuwait. They are uh, worried about their job security. What will happen in the future? Thank you. Can I? Sorry, I would like to. Uh, I, I thanked the foreign minister when we met earlier on for being very generous and sensitive to the livelihoods of Pakistanis working in Kuwait. Uh, and the response that I received was very encouraging. Uh, he is sensitive. He has acknowledged the positive contributions of the Pakistani community, our diaspora, our diaspora in Kuwait. Uh, and inshallah, in the days ahead, there are new opportunities for Pakistanis in Kuwait. I also um, shared with the foreign minister the uh, 
the opportunities of uh, uh, oil exploration in Pakistan. Uh, they have the expertise, uh, and we feel that there is potential. And here again, we can collaborate. Is, that, is it okay? Is it okay? Did he respond or not? Okay. <laughs> no, no, but let, let, me, let me just restress everything that my uh, dear brother and colleague uh, mentioned. Uh, if it's the Pakistani diaspora, we are proud, privileged to have them, and they are our brothers and our bread and butter. And as I have mentioned, a, a major and vital contributor of our development. Uh, being afraid of losing jobs, there is no reason to be afraid. The only thing that Kuwait and any other country, Pakistan or other, is illegal residents. And this is what we are dealing with, is Ill illegal residents. Uh, and we have some legislation on this, uh, on this matter. Uh, oil, uh, the cooperation is going well. And uh, we have a uh, uh, KOC office here in Pakistan. Uh, we think that we can do more. There is a, there is a room for uh, exploring even more avenues of cooperation. We hope that now, as we are institutionalizing our cooperation, we can handle each and every sector properly so we can move forward. Hey, I'm uh, Shabir Amdwagra from PTV World. Uh, my question is with Honorable Visiting uh, Foreign Minister that uh, uh, as uh, 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 both foreign ministers have said that Pakistan and uh, uh, Kuwait have uh, discussed a clear roadmap, and uh, Foreign Minister Krishi has uh, explained it as well. But any specific uh, areas of interest, just like uh, uh, different uh, Arab countries, they have invested in petrochemicals and minerals in Pakistan. So any specific area in which uh, uh, Kuwait would be interested, especially in investment in Pakistan. And, and second question, my, my part of the question is that uh, whether uh, any plan to increase B2B meetings and B2B co cooperation as well, because that is also one of the major area which is uh, almost lacking between the two countries. Well, thank you so much. And uh, I don't think that it's fair for our cooperation to single out with one sector or another sector. The catalog and the panorama of fields of cooperation are vast and numerous. And we would want and we would like to enhance them in a very objective and credible uh, manner in the, in the future. Uh, so it will not be fair for our historical and, her and uh, strong and uh, heritage to have it only in one sector. And uh, it's a beautiful story with lots of chapters. And I can tell you if each and every one of them, if being education, being as now we are saying health sector, energy, uh, engineers, uh, and other areas as well, security, military, I can go on and on, and I will let you be here for the rest of the night. So uh, let's leave it like that. And uh, as my brother Mahmoud has said, uh, the roadmap is, is, is not a secret document. We will come later on with each field. And uh, once it's finalized, and we will have now the clear status of our cooperation and what we are envisaging in the next five years in each and every field. I'll just add a sentence to that. The relationship that I've developed with the foreign minister, I can say with confidence, sky is the limit. We can have one last question, please, yeah. Anwar Abbas here from Bol News. Excellency, Pakistan and Kuwait, they both have a very good role in playing a mediatory role between various crises and, and uh, nations. 
So do you, uh, both, uh, my question is to both of you. Do you have any plan to play any mediation uh, on Yemen crisis as well? Because there is a, the UN uh, has expressed concerns of uh, uh, famine over there due to war. And it's, it has been a long time the war is continued there. So can, as you played a uh, mediatory role between GCC countries, so do you have any plan to play any mediation between Saudi Arabia and Yemen or other parties? Thank you. So well, you. well th thank you so much. And uh, the Yemen ongoing uh, conflict is a matter of great concern for Kuwait and all GCC countries. As a matter of fact, five years ago, back in 2016, we have uh, held, uh, we, uh, we have hosted the Yemenis for over 100 days in Kuwait in trying to solve uh, this crisis, but unfortunately to no avail. Um, we, in, we are integral part of the coalition in supporting the legitimacy in, uh, in Yemen. And we, at GCC, just recently, as he, my brother Mahmoud men mentioned yesterday, uh, the, uh, the GCC foreign minister expressed their intention uh, for the importance of resumption of the political uh, process. We call on the Houthis to halt and stop any uh, uh, attacks on uh, Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia sovereignty. And again, to be more engaged uh, with the political uh, process and to resume the political uh, dialogue. Um, the references of legitimacy in Yemen are well known and Kuwait do support the UN Special Envoy and also the new US Special Envoy for Yemen. Saying all that, there is no uh, way in Yemen but the political process and Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and other and our other GCC uh, brethren are on board for this dire uh, crisis situation there uh, to meet its the end of day hopefully in the near future and for the Yemenis to have a better uh, future in the near horizon. Well, I did touch on it uh, earlier on, and I see uh, new opportunities for dialogue and diplomacy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming so abruptly. The Foreign Minister was very keen to meet the media, and I welcomed it. Thank you. Thank, thank you for your kindness. I've, I thought otherwise. <laughs> وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی کی کویت کے وزیر خارجہ کے ہمراہ نیوز کانفرنس کہا کہ پاکستان اور کویت کے درمیان مضبوط برادران تعلقات ہیں اور پاکستان اور کویت نے دو طرفہ تعلقات کو فروغ دینے پر اتفاق کیا ہے مشترکہ پریس کانفرنس اب سے کچھ دیر پہلے اسلام آباد میں جاری تھی پی ٹی وی نیوز سے فی الوقت اتنا ہی مزید خبروں اور اپ ڈیٹس کے لیے آپ دیکھتے رہیے پاکستان ٹیلی ویژن نیوز